Greetings, brothers, sisters, friends, and foes. You're in for another agape update. We are leaving Quartzsite. We'll be heading off to Williams to look at some property for Josie and Star, and then we'll be eventually headed off to Catalina Island. I wanted to thank our friends and family in Lake Havasu at Redemption Hill, Terry, Pastor Ray, everyone out there. You've been great support. We couldn't have done it without you. Sandy, Loretta, Larry over at In-Store Storage in Ironwood. Um, really valued your friendship. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Uh, you, you helped us get through some pretty tough times. I just think hamsters, man. It's not. You're going to get it out of my head now. I want to report that Josie and Star are doing very well. They are up running a camp in Washington. I talk to them quite often. Josiah has now gone home to Illinois, and he's doing very well. He learned a lot, as have I. I have learned immensely as uh, I work with these young adults, and I look forward to the opportunity to continue this. I cannot thank you guys enough. Your prayer support, your monetary support, your emotional support has all been um, it's been incredible, and we couldn't have done it without you. Uh, go ahead and enjoy this video as we drive up to Williams and see a lot of great things. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Agapeonthestreets.com Say goodbye to the 439 gas prices. Heading into California, it's going to be six bucks. Here's our old warehouse, it's now selling rocks. So I'm driving through Quartzsite here, and we see some of the most amazing things sometimes, but this one I have to show you. This is pretty much, well, it's just beautiful. They call these guys schoolies, where they build out a school bus, but this looks like the front of a diesel truck. I built this onto the back of it. Thought you would enjoy it. That's quite amazing. So we are packing up and getting ready to say farewell to Quartzsite. I'm over at Tyson Wells. This is usually a huge, it's like a swap meet, but we call it the marketplace. We have all kinds of markets here. And just about everybody is gone. When it starts to get hot, they're out of here for the summer. Game store is closed down. And I'm realizing I'm going to miss this place. I've been here for over a year now. We stayed through last summer, and it was a really hot summer. Um, Josie and I were, <laughs> we were struggling. Even with the air conditioner and stuff in our little concrete block house, it was, uh, it was pretty tough. I got to over 100 sometimes uh, inside the house with outside getting up 130 and not letting down at night. We still have our supermarket hanging in there and they're saying another week or two and they're going to take off and that will leave us few options here. Most people head out to Blythe, which is in the California side. Uh, oh, it's about 25 minutes from here. Or we'll head over to Parker, where we can hit a Walmart, which is about, oh, about an hour. Where this is our store. It's in a tent. It's a little different than what a lot of people would be used to. It's pretty amazing how this whole town operates. There really is nothing like it, and uh, I'm, I'm going to miss it. I am going to miss it. Uh, most of you know that I have uh, had a life as an engineer, pretty complex things I've dealt with, and 
Since I've been here in Quartzsite, I've really come to enjoy the simple things in life. It is just a, a simple place. Everybody knows how to have a good time without getting too elaborate. And we have a thing over there called Beer Belly's Adult Daycare, where they have a stage and a lot of good bands played there through the winter, and they're closed down. It's just all kind of... It's almost kind of eerie, kind of sad, because, I mean, you'd have thousands of people here not that long ago. And now we're uh, just the last few of us saying goodbye. It's just a, la a little after 8 a.m. and we're out of here. So we've left Quartzsite. We're on our way to Williams to see Bob Tracy and to Desert, or I keep calling it Desert Center, but it's actually called Chino Valley, where we are going to look for property for Josie. And we stopped here at Brown Bag Burger in Prescott for lunch. Pretty darn amazing burgers. <laughs> Voted best burger in Prescott. Uh, yeah, I can kind of believe that. Got Josiah over there still pigging out. There's the car. She's loaded down. Um, we end up having to get a hotel for two nights. We were going to camp the first night. So we're entering Chino Valley. Just amazing hills here. It is pretty crazy, just as we drive through here. I totally feel at home here. I don't know quite why, can't put my finger on it. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. You know, it's not an overcrowded, overwhelmed town, but I mean, you got good supermarkets, you got plenty of food. got everything you need and then some. We're on the 40 now, heading into Williams. It's about 15 miles away and the wind is just kicking butt through here. I've got that big bag tied down on the roof and it's a little scary. Just hoping it stays up there. I've had to slow down and kind of stay behind this truck. Climbing here pretty good. We got Devil Dog Road. Getting up closer to Williams. Get more into the forest, the bigger trees. Most people have a hard time leaving that this is Arizona. Really nice up here. So this is the property out here in Venice. You're right here off of this little road, which is a quarter mile off the main highway. You've got a neighbor across the way. You've got cattle right there. The farmer has a little cattle thing going across the road to the backside. So this is the gas station and little market that's within walking distance of the Venice property we're looking at. He's got this little car museum thing out here. He's got some cool old stuff. There's a Chevron station. Hotel. Grab the ranch over there. You got ice cream and everything. You got Fred Flintstone across street camping. Mo 
mobile station. Nice hotel with a restaurant and stuff right here. And uh, it's a really nice little area. And they just started to build this area. This is not much here, but uh, I'm hearing that this is where They're getting 200 bucks a night because there's not enough of them to go around. Here's my buddy standing out here. So we've gone over to some other properties out towards Ash Fork, uh, out towards Chino Valley area out there, and they're just nothing like this. They're the same money and more, and there's just no potential compared to this. They say that area will build and stuff, but this is a for sure thing. You got power right here. You got people coming here. This is big time tour stop for Grand Canyon. And the weather's better up here. It doesn't get as hot. Down there, it's already getting hot. Um, this is making so much more sense. Everybody, Bob and everyone just going, well, duh. We turned around and came back up here. So we're going to look around more up here. I've got, uh, um, Bima is her name. She's the realtor, and she's looking for more properties here in this area. We've stopped here for now, and then we're going to take off and go see what she finds. Uh, just really, really, really neat what we're seeing up here so far. you got a fencing contractor here. People are buying properties and putting up fences. They're going for it. We're going inside. Welcoming committee. Really nice store. There's not much up here yet, so the people that have things are really taking advantage of uh, of the tourist because there's there's a big draw going on. So if you have a gun, prepare to draw. Really, really neat store. We get antiques in the back, and this was a, is within walking distance. So I looked up jobs, talked to a few people out here, and within 20 to 30 minutes, there are a lot of high-paying jobs. I'm talking starting at 20, going up to $40 an hour. All things I could easily get and do. Things pretty much anybody could learn and do. So behind the stores for Grand Canyon is a Route 66 store. This is still within walking distance of the Venice Drive property. There's a whole bunch of Route 66 stuff here because we're right there and uh, I guess this is kind of a hangout for people cruising along Route 66 nice motel here there's a nice restaurant there's a bar and I'm going to sit here and use the internet. Our last two years in Arizona has been incredible. I'm sure we will all continue to cherish memories. We've had some hard times, we've had some great times, and we've grown through all of it. We cherish our friendships. Thank you all, and I ask for God's blessings to pour out on your life. Come back and see us. Don't forget us. Agape on the streets.com. I'd love to hear from you. I've got a number on there. Text us and say hello.